Hey guys, it's Tom and I'm back here today with another video and this is my clone outpost on Talus. This is the second in my Talus series. If you haven't checked out the first one, feel free to go ahead and check that out either now or afterwards. So yeah, I'll just get right into it. So what's happened is they, um, the droids have made an attack on the base and are scaling the mountain to try and take over. So we've got spider droids walking through the river but he's been attacked by Scout Trooper because the Scout Trooper's being a boss and is taking out the cannon. We've got lots of droids scaling the wall, including a dwarf spider droid. And they're getting wiped out by the ARF Troopers because they're being boss as well. <laughs> and then we've got a dead Super Battle droid who's been just blown up. Legs are detached from the main body there's a tree built into the mountain here with sloping branches so they're coming off at an angle um, and then that's just built into the mountain that loops around comes around the whole way goes all the way back Right at the back there we've got the waterfall with the crashing waves at the bottom. And then we've got the beach with some blending using the olive green. We've got this banking around the side. And then on top of the banking we've got this um, grass area um, with foliage. So Lots of flowers and stuff. And then on the mountain there is lots of vegetation as well. Up on the top here we have got a smaller part of the base. The main part is underneath. It's got a moss sort of roof. And then just a communication table in there. Got these really nice details. There's the slopes. Okay, it does connect to the bridge that goes across the river. And there is a sliding door that goes up and down, like so. It's just on a hinge. So the clones would open it to run across. Right at the back here, on the sandy plain that we, there we go, we've got this um, solar panel, just as a supplementary power source, so that would be just facing into the sun, because it is a very, this is obviously a very um, hot part of the planet, that's why they don't need proper roofs and stuff. Um, so they wouldn't get much rain here, it's probably a desert. Just here, they can use it as a viewing balcony, so they've got these steps that go up. And then we've got this skylight window, goes in, looks into the base, we've got those steps on either side. And then they'd be walking up to get in here, where they've got this door that opens like so. Like that, like on that side. Not like that side. Shouldn't break, but it does. We've got another one of those detailed slope things there. Then we see the back of the bridge. And there's some clones going running across to get to the area where the tanks are. Well, small tanks and speeder. Got the slope ramp going up and then the door at the end. It's not very detailed at all. Inside here, oh, I'll show the door. It's kind of the main feature. Okay, so this door just slide fully open. This side fl slides all the way in, so it's totally flush with the actual mountain. And then this just slide out, oh, falling apart. It's just the 
sliding the system it's locked into to slide at the back. No biggie. Very delicate base. So it does slide fully open, like so, and then this comes out. It's a lot smaller this piece, so it fits with the other. Don't know what's happening. Uh, it's just those pieces at the top, they're falling off. Really doesn't matter. And then it comes all the way shut like so. And I think that looks really cool. Let's remove those pieces that fall off. I'll just open it to get some light in there. The system works pretty well. It's tailed on top and underneath. So we've got the ATAP in the base. The base is made for the ATAP so it can go out and stay be stored there. Um, but they normally refuel it so they've got this ladder that is used to access the ATAP so that clone's getting in. Commander agrees, just looking out, see if there's any more droids coming. Got this like control center here with a curved station and curved window. We've got some two clones there. It's just got some detailing there with the panels and the regular pieces. Got these chairs, pretty simple. Um, right at the back, I don't know if you can see. Just one second. You can see there's a melting area. So they melt the crystals that they get shipped in from the other places in those crates. And then they'd melt it and turn it into a sort of fuel. Oh, sorry about that. In that oil tank area there. And then they'd use that pipe to fuel the ATAP. The ATAP does walk out of the base because it was a it wouldn't this base would have been so much easier to build and a lot more structurally sound if I hadn't done it with the ATAP because the ATAP is such a tall vehicle. Imagine if I'd done it with the new ATR whatever it's called that one from the Star Wars Rebels. The one that's like an ATST because. Chris is going on about how big it is. So the third leg would extend and it would walk down there. So the third leg means it can easily get itself off the banking. Just down here you can see the medical room. I'm going to get you a better look of it by taking off the roof. Um, there's a clone in the back, and that's all you can really see. There's a clone going along the corridor, and then the back of the living area. Up here we've got a spiralling staircase, and then a walkway across. This is so they can access the ACAP, mainly so they can get up here. There's a little hatch at the back, I'll get a better look at that in a second. But it's just on a hinge, so they'd hinge it up. So I'm going to take off the roof and see you in a second. Right, I've removed the base plate sort of thing on top. So now I'm just going to get into the base underneath. We've got this, this is the platform down here that was on top. In its several sections that come off very easily. You can just see. It's very easy to put together and take apart. I just thought I'd cut it off saving myself that extra few minutes that might have just been me failing to take off the roof. So this is my favourite part of the base, the medical room. So we've got these two back to tanks here. Got a clone inside one of them. They do move up like so very easily. Got a shock trooper in there. And they don't go down very easily. They are just on a single hinge, so it's like so. 
and then your one does the same. Um, they're quite detailed at the back, they've got some grates and they've got an arch. You can see the clone trooper fits in there nicely. We've got these beds at the back, like um, warmth beds so they can be fed stuff in there and change the conditions. They're very cool, they are snot technique. And I do like the shape, that took a while. As you can see it's very irregular being snot. And then there is a control panel in the back. Don't know if you can see but there's a control panel there and there's some grates so if they need help they just call for it. Um, to the medical room we have this sliding door. So they can enter. And yep. Yeah. Got this panel. We got this lever here so they don't want to shut it. They just slide all the way. Just held in by this system here. Very simple. Um, this is where they're booking in people, seeing who's actually in the medical room because they need to know how many clones there are in the base. We've got these massage beds, so they put their face in there. Also snot technique. All the plates at the top, they're held in by the tiled area and then a stud, or several studs, like so. Here's the hallway you could see before and the steps going up, but they're going up to nothing. It's not very well done this, but um, we have a kitchen area where they'd eat. So we've got a large, very large cooker at the back, large fridge, wall divider, so, and there's also a TV. Um, serving area so they'd put the food on here and then you'd go along decide what you want and then sit down and eat your food there we've got a rug here at the back just to make it a bit more not boring and grey we've got the TV here can't see it very well and then you have the sofa now this might be a bit hard, but I'll give it a go. Oh, okay. I'll set you guys down a second. Set this up. Got the beds here at the back. There is four of them. Not everybody's going to be sleeping at the same time, so they only need four. Then we've got this detail at the back. The wall from the corridor. It's just my light. Um, let's move this. You can see a basin for a toilet. So we've got the actual toilet there, little foot mats, and then the basin exactly the same on the other side and then there's just the walling around there and then if I can get in you can just see there's a little mosaic just to make their bedroom a bit nicer this is the area for the smaller vehicles so we've got the this is just a better view of it We've got the speeder and the um, swamp speeder. So it would go up the sloped ramp. Um, it held the doors held in place, but it does go out, as you can see. Tall enough. At the entrance way there to the bridge. From the side steps going up the side, and then it connects to the bridge which has a roof didn't for a long time 
Okay. This is that door I was showing earlier. On the hinge. And then just a better view of inside here. So that's been my LEGO Star Wars Clone Outpost on Talus. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Um, I've gone through stages of really hating it and really loving the space. Um, I'm satisfied with how it turned out. To be um, Yesterday I wouldn't have said that at all. I hated it. I was just loathing it and I just wanted to get it finished. Because I want to enter it into Lego buff com Lego Buffs competition and that ends today or tomorrow uh, and I need to upload this video, um, edit it and send the link to him. So I will be entering that contest, hopefully I do. There are going to be free prizes so hopefully I medal. <laughs> um, I think I might have a chance because I know that Danny does like this base, um, does this base, bases as in the actual facilities. So, if he's made it this far, thank you very much for watching, Danny. Um, and if you if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you already haven't, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and bye.